Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we're going to look at the combination between the index and match function in Excel, a very powerful combination which can replace the VLOOKUP function. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of my videos. Please enjoy. So in this video we're going to take a look at the index and match combination. Well the advantages of an index and match combination are that you can look for a value on the left of the search value, which is not possible with the VLOOKUP. You can look up a value in a dynamic column, so you can make the column number dynamic and you can look up a value with multiple column number arguments. And I'm going to show you all these three things in this video. Well, first of all, you see I'm working with a table with a category, a product and some sales information about these products. Well, in the first example, we are going to look for the category of this product. The product is bookshelf and in the table, we can see the category is the shelves. And to do that, I'm going to use an index and match combination. And first, I'm going to show you the index function. I'm going to type equal sign index opening brackets. And the index function array is always the array where the result is in your table. So the result is in the category because I want to return the category. My next argument is the row number. Well, my bookshelf is on the one, two, three, four, fifth row. So first I'm just going to type a five and I'm going to close my function. Press enter and you see I searched the category for the bookshelves and the category is shelf. Well, you will understand this five, we need to make this dynamic to look for this value. And that's what we're going to do with the match function. I'm going to show you what the match function does. And here I can type equal sign match opening bracket. I'm going to look for the value bookshelf. My lookup array is the next argument. It's this array. And the match type is optional. It's the same as the VLOOKUP where you can type the true or false argument. And here it's a zero for an exact match. I'm closing my function, press enter. And you see I calculated the 5 because what the match function does, it looks for the value bookshelf in this array and it returns the position of the value. So I can delete this one. I can go back to my original function and I can replace this 5 with a match function opening bracket. Just like we did before, look for the bookshelf. The array is the column with the products and I want an exact match. Close my function, press enter. And you see I searched for the shelves. And you can see my result is in this column. It's on the left side of my lookup value. And that's what you cannot do with the VLOOKUP. So that's the advantage of the index and match combination. I made already videos about the index function and the match function on its own. You can see them on my channel. But here we are looking at the combination of two and what you can do with this powerful combination. Well, the next example I'm going to show you is an example where you have a dynamic column number. I already made a drop down here where I can choose for price, cost, sales, revenue and profit. You can see there are the column headers in here. First we're going to search for the profit. And again always start with the index function, equal sign, index, opening bracket. Well in this case the array is not only one column, but it's all the five columns in here. Because my answer can be in the price column, the cost column, sales column, and so on, depending on what value is in this cell. So the next argument of the index function is the row number, and that works practically the same as the example before. Just go to the next argument, insert a match function, opening bracket. My lookup value is the bookshelf. My lookup array is this array, and I want an exact match. Close my function. Well, in this box you can see we have an array, a row number, but we can also insert a column number and that's where we can make the column number dynamic. We can also use a match function for the column number. So go to your next argument, again type a match function, opening bracket, and I'm going to look for the value profit and the array will be all my headers and my match type will be zero. Close my match function. I can also close my index function, press enter, and you see the profit of the bookshelf is this value. And what happens when I go to the revenue? The value changes and it looks for the revenue. 
Well, what we did is we added a second match function to determine the column. Well, the index function is a function where we can go several cells down and several cells to columns to the right. We calculated the columns down with the match function where we looked for the bookshelf and we calculated the columns to the right with the match function where we looked for the value in this cell, which is revenue at this moment. Now the last example I want to show you is look up a value with multiple column arguments. For that we are going to sheet 2 and again I have a table with the category, the product and I have a price and a cost column. I have that twice for the year 2022 and the year 2023. Well, what happens when I want to look for the price in the year 2023 for the product bookshelf? Well, basically we have two column arguments. Well, we have to look for a column which indicates the price and we have to look for the column which indicates the year 2023. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the index and match function. The beginning is the same, just type equal sign index opening bracket. Well, the result of my function can be in this array. So that's my array for my index function. Well, how many rows I go down is depending on the product. So we're going to the next argument and we type a match function to look up the product. My lookup value is the bookshelf. My lookup array is this column and my match type is zero for an exact match. Close my match function. The next argument is the column number. And this is where it gets tricky. I'm going to show you how to search for two values in two different rows to determine the column number. We're also doing that with the match function. Just type your match function, opening bracket, and my lookup value is 2023, but it's also price. So what I'm going to do is select this cell, type the AND symbol, and I'm looking for the price. So select this cell also. The next argument is the lookup array. And we are not going to select this whole array at once, because that won't work. I'm going to select first the row with the year numbers, because I also selected my year as the first value in my lookup value. Now again, we type the AND symbol. So we're going to select another array. And that's the array with the price and the cost. So in this array, it's going to look for the second lookup value, which is the price in this case. Well, again, the match type is an exact match. So type a zero, close your function. And now you can also close your index function with a closing bracket. Press enter and you see the price of the product bookshelf in 2023 is $30. I can change the year to 2022 and you see it costs $20. For the price, you can also type here the cost. And you see the cost in the year 22 for the bookshelf is $15. So in this way, you can look up a value with multiple column number arguments. And that makes the combination between index and match so powerful. So that's the way you can combine index and match for a very powerful function. Let me know in the comments if you were able to make your own combination with index and match. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.